when I was in high school in 1996, I transferred back to Grant Union High School. And there was a lady there. Her father was a preacher of a local church. She was a year older than me. Let's call her name Shanta. All right. Now, Shanta was beautiful. And because I came from a Catholic school back to Grant, I was allowed to take some advanced courses with people a grade ahead of me, you know, because I was smart and everything like that. And I mean, Shanta was just so beautiful. She had a nice booty. She was, you know, getting good grades. Uh, she had already passed, I believe the year after that, like she had qualified to pass the ACT. She was just doing everything right, man. And I really, in my ghetto voice, liked it her. Y'all know that, that's a slang. I liked it her. And she knew it because I told her, you know what I'm saying? But she would never really push me off like that. She would call me and stuff like that, see how I was doing. And she knew I really wanted to be with her, but she was hating on me. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I was just too ugly or maybe I was just not what she wanted. But anyways, she gets a full scholarship to Fresno State. I'm still stuck in the hood at Grant because I'm a year under her. Now, she goes and graduates, gets a good job. Her daddy's a preacher now. Shanta ends up pregnant by Dusty Daryl. Nigga in the jail, nigga can't read, breath stinking. Dusty linebacker braids. Shout out to LAR movement. You know, he's one of these niggas, right? We keep kind of tall. And, um, you know, maybe he might clean up nice to her, but th th this dude is dusty. Her, her father and mother didn't raise her for her to go out here and dusty it up like that. She would have been better with my ugly ass. Now she got a baby. Now let's talk about babies. <laughs> babies, some chicks get fat. And that's what happened to Shanta. Boop! 60 pounds later and can't get it off. And oh, by the way, you working at a job where you sitting all the time. She, 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 I'm talking about looking like refrigerator Perry fat single mama. The nigga goes to jail, break up, whatever. Check this out. Then she got the nerve to check up on me just recently. See, I'm out in Poland. I got my shoulders, I'm working out, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking real sexy and everything. My hairline messed up, but that's what it is. She gonna send me a message though. Oh, hi, O'Shea, how you doing? Oh, it's good to see you doing good. I heard you in medical school now, look at you. I'm following you on Facebook. You going to all these places, Africa, you in Brazil. Oh, I would love to go to Brazil. Um, You know, I always liked it, you. That's what you told me. I always liked it, you. I would really like to see you when you come back to Sacramento. I didn't pay her fat ass no mind, right? So she asked me why I'm not responding to her, why I'm not talking to her and all this. And then this story happens with my man Romeo. Now, Romeo, who is the son of Master P., and he was trying to play a little basketball at one point. He was on Growing Up Hip Hop, and I still think he's on that season. And then there's Angela Simmons, the, the daughter of Joseph Simmons, a.k.a. Reverend Run, right? Now, Romeo is like four or five years younger than Angela Simmons, but he liked it her. But Angela Simmons didn't like him. Now, she said she was 28 years old. When she lost her virginity. Well, I mean, you waited that long to lose your virginity, boo. Uh, who you going to lose it to? A uh, Harvard lawyer? No. A uh, Princeton MBA graduate? No. I mean, you're fine. You're beautiful. You got all the access in the world to meet up other dudes, you know. Romeo trying to holler at your heat right there. Uh, you all you, you, you all on TV. Who, who you going to meet with? Oh, some nigga who just got out of jail with all kind of felony records. 
nigga got more uh, crimes than any goddamn body. This is who you give your virginity to. This is who you give it to. Some Negro named Sutton. I don't know what his last. I don't care. Then he don't even marry you. You give him your virginity. You have a baby. Your daddy's a preacher. And now you a single mom. He talking about he gonna marry you. And the nigga don't marry you. And then he ends up getting shot. And killed in his own house. Now see this is where it gets interesting. Now she's mourning for the guy. She's a single mom. And Romeo probably looking at her like, and I'm going to do a video on this. Shout out to another YouTuber. I heard Jada Black say this, but I also heard, I'm going to just go ahead and say it. Me and Phil was talking about this. Um, You know what he said? Man, look who you got with. You had me and you got what? His dusty ass? If he can hit it, I know I can. You, you, you chose him over me? Okay, I got something for you. Now you want Romeo to come and be your boyfriend now. After you didn't got 30-something, you didn't got big, you didn't became a heavyweight, you over here looking like George Foreman. Now you want him to be with you, and Romeo is doing what every brother should do in that situation, which is no response. Now she crying. He was supposed to be there for me. He said he was going to be there for me. He said he was going to do this and nothing. You know what that is? Like y'all women say, black men got the right to change their mind because he knew you ain't about nothing. That's what it is. And I'm going to do a separate video on that. I'm glad that Jada Black shouted him. He mentioned it. And me and Phil was talking about it. Also the same situation. Brothers, when they see that you are dusty. And when they lose respect for you because of your dust, they don't even want to talk to you no more. Because you go out and you save your virginity and give it to Boo Boo the Fool. He gets shot 13 times. Now you ain't got no baby daddy. And now you expect me to come and clean it up? No, 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 no. We're not going to do that. No, not to that. And you know what? He starts to look at himself like, you, you know what? I'm better than that. <laughs> I don't even want you as a friend. It, 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 like, y'all will mess up so bad. A brother will say, I don't want you as a friend. Like, don't even talk to me no more. I will even come to work where you at. And I don't want to talk to you no more because you're just so dusty. I haven't really analyzed how dusty you was, but now that I realize it, I ain't going to talk to you no more. And that happens a lot. Let me tell you something. Black men are not going to be playing cleanup men for y'all and y'all struggle problems. Your little struggle relationships. Struggle here, struggle there, struggle every damn where. No, niggas ain't got that kind of time. No. Why? Why? I'm, 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 he's Romeo. My daddy said, uh, selling rap noodles. I ain't got to deal with you. You dusty and you like 30 something. G go by over there. And she realized it because ain't nobody else going to sign up for it. You waited 28 years to get that thing up to Dusty Daryl. Now you want me to clean? No, stop. Now you entitled. That's the situation. How you going to be entitled and expect that somebody going to come clean up your stuff? When you didn't even want him at first. And this is what I'm telling you. They always got a backup plan. They got a backup dude in case. See, teams have a backup quarterback. But what happens when the backup quarterback get hurt? Oh, it's over. So her backup was Lil' Romeo. But now Lil' Romeo don't want to play backup quarterback to Dusty Darrell. Now you upset. Why you hurt? Why you hurt backup quarterback? Because he got sense. And a lot of brothers been paying attention to this kind of content. And black men are so tired of dealing with these Dustitias and these Dustinas and Felonicia. Dustina struggles worth. Get it together. Over there. Over there, like up to the, over there. Take your Dustina Struggleworth ass 
over there. Over there. Go and get you another struggle, Negro. Because you're not going to mess up my stuff. Brothers out here with good credit. Brothers out here ain't got no kids. You're not going to bring your little kid over here and your little your little dusty issues and think I'm going to handle that. Go over there. Go, you found him? Go find you another one. Over there, Struggle Mania Avenue is there. Struggle Road is there. Struggle Boulevard is there. I will give you directions. And it's straight that way. <laughs> there you go. Go there. And when you get there, go straight again. When the road ends, make a right and go straight again. But don't you dare make a right, 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 and another right and come back here. No, 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 no. Straight. Over there. So, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Keep on keeping on. Don't go backwards. If they don't want you when they get all beat up and all out of shape and stuff, don't let them come back and talk about, you was always my favorite, I always liked you. No, 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 you didn't. You did not like me. Struggle Boulevard is over there. Struggle Road. Struggle Mania Freeway. There you go. I struggle. Yeah, interstate struggle was over there. Go ahead, drive your car down there. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. All my contact information is pinned to the top. I'm out. First comment.